This tutorial is going over the path assembly tool. It's similar to the path cut tool, but instead of just cutting out the meshes, this can also spawn meshes on the path. So the first thing we'll want to do is drag our blueprint in. And we can hold Alt to spawn new points in, and this will make our path longer. Let's just align this with our 3D model. The next thing we'll want to do is clean up and generate on the PCG holder, and this will allow the subtraction to occur. And then we'll want to swap out these low poly models for our high poly models. So let's do that now. So let's do our grass, our rocks, and our trees. As you can see, the scale's quite off as the meshes we're putting in are a lot larger than the defaults. So we will need to do some adjusting on the PCG graph to ensure that these assets are scaled correctly. So let's just scale down the path down now. and scale down the debris and our paths slowly coming together. We can also increase the path width left and right. So if you do this value really high, you could completely get rid of one side of the path. So this could be used for a shoreline or something similar. As well as that, we can also spawn meshes directly onto the path. So you could do leaves, sticks, any any mesh you can think of essentially. So it just gives it that bit of extra detail on your path. The assembly extents, what this does is increases the meshes on the exterior of the path. So this can help with blending. To clone the path, you simply just need to grab your original path generator duplicate it and move it around. You can also drag in a fresh blueprint and create a completely new path. This works exactly the same, but it has unique parameters. And once again, we will need to go on the PCG holder, click clean up and generate. And we should see that the path will now be subtracted. So this path is just an example, but it's looking a bit weird. So let's start increasing the tree density. Just to blend it in that little bit extra. And the, the path system should be combined with the other systems. So so you don't want harsh edges at the end. You can always use scatter on mesh or the biome to blend this in even more. And that's it for this one. And we'll catch you in the next one.